What's up guys, Spencer here. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I shored my wires on my speed control and or servo to get the cleanest look for your cars. Um, as you can see here, I got a few different tools that um, you'll need and some parts and connectors. Um, these are receiver cable connectors. Um, they're pretty easily available. You can get on A Main Hobbies. Uh, this is just the receiver cable um, plug-in plastic piece. I got an X-Acto blade and then I'm using a um, wire crimper I ordered from Amazon. Um, this is kind of a engineer PA20 um, from Japan. I got these from Amazon. I think they were like 20 bucks. And um, yeah, so let's kind of get right into it. But first off, I kind of wanted to talk about the importance it is on um, how critical that when shortening wires can kind of get kind of messy. It can be um, kind of an expensive mishap if you don't do it properly. So I don't recommend anybody to just shorten your wires. Um, if you have some extra receiver wire that you can buy to practice on, I would highly recommend doing that. Um, I've been doing it for quite a while now and you know, kind of looking at the the aspect of how clean it is to wiring your cars to make it pretty nice looking is is something that I um, take pride in. And if it's something that you take pride in as well, then I would recommend um, checking it out. Um, I always measure twice and cut once. So when you're looking at your receiver wire or ESC wire or server wire, just double check on how um, long you want them to be. And um, double check your work and then you can cut away. So um, let's kind of get right into it. I'm gonna kind of mock it up to kind of do my own uh, measuring here. Um, I have the car, I'm gonna be kind of utilizing the speed control. My speed control is roughly going to be in this position right here. And then obviously my receiver will be right here. So kind of what I'll do is I'll end up kind of thinking that the speed control will be placed here and the receiver right here. I'm gonna end up kind of using the length of the remaining plate. And then I'm gonna chop that off to here. I'll leave an extra few millimeters. And then just like that, you cut off this much. And then what you're gonna wanna do, um, this is also a tedious part, is kind of getting your exacto blade to kind of separate the wires here. Kind of splicing it down the middle. You want to take this very slowly because then it kind of can rip um, the wires to have the exposed wires. So you want to go super slow, just like that. Perfect. Just This just gives you room to then splice the wires. Um, I use scissors for this. I'm kind of... Uh, an expert when it comes to to getting the exposed wire, um, but be very careful when doing so. So I'll do the next one. So you want to get about that much cut. And 
kind of separate them a little bit more. I like to do one at a time. I like to, to twist the wires to make sure it's super tight. I like to remove one of these off the tree. And this is kind of where I get my pieces. So what I'll do is I'll end up getting the wires straight here, put these other two wires to the side, double check that it's twisted properly, get your uh, caper wire connectors, kind of then put that up against like so, you can see that the tab is right here. And then I'll kind of just kind of crimp these tabs, so just to kind of lock the wire in place a little bit. And then what I'll do is I'm going to be using the 1.9 millimeter side. And these special um, pliers have a little V divot to kind of help crimp the wire to secure the wires in place. So um, the V top that crimps goes always on top here. So I'm going to put that wire in and then that kind of crimped this area right here. And then I'm going to do the crimp the, the bottom half as well. You don't want to put too much pressure, just enough to um, secure it. If you have to do a couple different spots, that's always possible too. And just like that, you got one done, and then repeat the same process for the other two. Separate them. Make sure it's in place. Crimp the back to lock it in. Crimp. Perfect. That one's done. Crimp and lock in place. Crimp the wire. Crimp the back. And just like that, you have your wires all done. Get your um, receiver plastic connector. And then you kind of want to just um, simultaneously insert the three in place. Um, just always double check that you make sure you did all the crimping that you need to. Uh, this one looks pretty good. I'm going to double check it just to make sure. And you're kind of good to go. You have to make sure that the, they're facing top for all of them. You don't want them to be facing different ways. Slide them in. This is one of the other tricky parts about this. You may need to use an X-Acto blade to secure. So get an X-Acto blade, push that in all the way, and then it kind of snaps in place. Uh, and just like that, you have a shortened ESC wire. It's snug in there really good. And um, now you can kind of wire this up to have a super clean ESC wire and uh, not many exposed uh, wires for your uh, vehicle. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, check out these tools and parts you can get from um, the wire crimpers from a Amazon and the receiver cables on uh, A-Main Hobbies. And uh, always be sure to measure twice, cut once, take your time with the shortening wires. You can do this for the ESC, you can do this for the servos. And um, once again, I really appreciate you guys tuning in to Hobby Wings YouTube channel. My name is Spencer Rifkin. Feel free to um, Contact us if you have any questions on uh, Facebook or Instagram. 
uh, well, send us an email. Uh, you can go on hobbywingdirect.com, send an email to customer service, and uh, we'll get you guys um, taken care of or helped out with any questions you may have. Um, as always, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Please like and subscribe to the video if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys on the next one.